Hello everybody and welcome back to Detroit Become Human. We are continuing where we left off. Kara, she got Alice away from Todd, thank God, became self-aware. Uh, something happened with Connor. He was solving the murder of Carlos. He found an android that went rogue again, like the first one. He met Hank, who I realized was an actor, I just can't remember his name. It was like Clancy Brown, I think his name was. And now we're Marcus with Carl coming back from some art gallery I think that was by far the most boring party I've been to in the last 25 years every time I go to one of these I ask myself what the hell am I doing here I hate cocktail parties and all the I bet you do the go there Schmoozers. people who admire your work to meet that's a new word yeah, yeah, yeah. no one gives a damn about art all they care about is how much money they're gonna make out of it. You probably made a lot. I mean, look at this place. On, look at me. Drink. Oh, excite Hang on. Also, I did find out last part. I could look at uh, the flow charts. This one doesn't seem that long. Although there might be a lot of dialogue and a lot less choosing. Man, what I do? This whole thing has made me thirsty. All right. Uh, to the kitchen, I guess. I don't know. Is that where you keep your drinks? Carl, I don't really know this house, I'll Scott, admit. There we go. Absolutely. Okay, All right, you know what your doctor would say. Yeah, well, he can kiss my ass. I'm old enough to choose my own medication. That's my man right there. All right. Pour it in. Can I have some too, Carl? Did you leave Please. The on the studio? No, no, I'm sure I didn't. I bet someone did. The police. I am the police. Detroit police, what's your emergency? This is Carl Manfred's android at 8941 Lafayette Avenue. We've just returned home and found the lights on. There may have been a break-in. A patrol car is on the way. Let's Thank you. Check it out. Can you please send Connor? I've been having so much problems with this microphone. It's like... Oh. Are you good? Okay, I guess it's good. Marcus, no, I'm gonna come with you. Okay, Carl, let's go together. Mono e mono, or man with man. Mono and mono. Hello? Leo, you son of a bitch. Leo! What are you doing? You refuse to help me, so I'm helping myself. It's crazy what some people pay for this shit. Don't touch them. Look, they're all going to be mine sooner or later anyway. Just think of it as a down payment on my inheritance. Marcus, get him away. What are you trying to say? Get him out of here. Leo, I'm going to have to use advice. Listen, you should go before things get worse. Cops are already all coming. All you do is tell me to go away. What's wrong, Dad? Not good enough for you? Not perfect like this fucking thing. That's enough. Get out right now. What makes it so special oh. anyway, huh? What's it got that I don't leave him alone? Come on, let's see what you got. Shit's getting real. Marcus, don't defend yourself. You hear me? Don't he do says it. so. Go ahead, hit me. Yeah, what do you say? Don't do anything. Think you're a man? Act like one. This is not fair. Uh oh. Pussy. Stop it, Carl. Just to fight back, you fucking bitch. Oh no. Time to get it's not working. Come on, Marcus. Break through the wall. Do it. Do it, Marcus. Get out of here. Everyone's breaking the wall now. Oh, God damn. That's right. I forgot you're not a real person. You're just a fucking piece of plastic. Oh, Leo, leave him alone. No, get the fuck out of my way. I'm going to tear you apart. Nobody's going to get I got to take care of Carl. Oh. I didn't know I'd push him that hard. Oh my god. Carl. Leo. 
My little boy. Oh, no. Carl, I... They'll destroy you, Marcus. You gotta go. Get out of here. Fuck. Go? I have nowhere to go. Carl, you're all I have. Guess not the squad out. car. Now! Go! Shit. Marcus, I don't know. Don't fucking move! Run, Marcus. <laughs> My God. Shit kicked off. Oh, yeah, the only... Police mistook Marcus for the aggressor. Oh, so he's hurt. He's not dead. He's hurt. It doesn't say dead. So you could have pushed him or endured. And... Oh, you could have gone by yourself. Okay. How many people went with him? 70%. How many people did this? 45. About half. Alright, let's continue. That was a fast part. Why'd you kill him? Alright, back what to Connor. You took that knife? While this is going on, I'm gonna fix this fucking microphone. I don't know why it's bugging me. How long were you in the attic? Why didn't you even try to run away? The hell's on his arms? Say something, goddammit! <laughs> Fuck it, I'm out of here. All right, I'm neutral with Hank. We're wasting our time interrogating Software instability. Always try roughing up a little. Who is this guy? After all, it's not human. Androids don't feel pain. You would only I got shot many times. And that wouldn't make it talk. Deviants Let me hack into it. To self -destruct when they're in stressful situations. Okay, smartass. That ain't good. Why would you give a we do that? android that ability? I could try questioning it. <laughs> Why are you laughing? I was being completely serious. To lose. Thank you, Hank. Go ahead. Suspect's all yours. Did I learn his name? I don't think so. Interrogation dispatch 19 events scheduled? We're gonna have 19 interrogations? That's a lot. What the hell's wrong with his arms? Was that like the damage uh, Carlos did to him? Wait, what is this? Is this a file near him? Can I read the file? Yes. I mean, I already know what happened. I was there. Who took these pictures? Ooh, yes. I, didn't I already know all this? All right, let's sit down. Hello, deviant. Let me analyze them first. Alright, check out the arms. See what happened there. Ooh, that's a bad cut. Oh. Uh, hit marks, non-critical dam damage, level 2, caused by baseball bat. That, that was caused by a baseball bat? Looks like a knife. Burn marks. Reported marking over 16 months. Months. Caused by cigarettes. Wow. Okay. I can already see his motive. Uh, dried blood. About 19 days. I think that's how long Carlos was dead for. Uh, yep. He's in the yellow. Processing LED. Signs of software instability. Uh, probability of self-destruction is low. Please don't self-destruct with me in the room, I beg of you. Alright, and his model... Number and info. Okay. Interrogate. Level of stress. Okay. So I gotta reach his level of stress, but it can't go too far. Uh. Name. 
My name is Connor. What about you? What's your name? Connor's a good guy. Alright, show the photos. You've probably already seen this. You recognize him? It's Carlos Ortiz. Stabbed. Twenty eight. I really times. don't want to fuck this up. I don't want to kill Connor again. That was written on the wall in his blood. It's rising up. No, I'm not gonna reassure him. Blame. You're accused of murder. You know you're not gonna be a good guy, but he's a criminal. Do you have anything to say in your defense? I gotta get his stress building up. Still too low. Probe memory? If you won't talk, I'm going to have to probe your memory. No! No, please. There don't. we go. Almost there. What? What are they gonna do to me? They're gonna destroy me, aren't they? They're going to disassemble you to look for problems in your bio components. They All right, is at the right level of stress? Understand what happened. Still a little bit low. I can go a little bit more. Why did you tell them you found me? Why couldn't you? Mm -hmm. Connor's a truthful guy. I gotta give him that. I was programmed to hunt deviants like you. All right, fifty-five. I just accomplished my mission. I hope they'll give me an option to like ask for a confession. Then talk to me. I. I can't. Sure, you can. Don't make me probe you. All right, choose approach. Reassure it, probe its memory, convince it. No, pressure it? What did I say? Reassure it? Uh, I'm going to convince it. Order. You're a machine you were designed to obey, so obey! Ooh. Tell me what happened. I know you're scared. <laughs> I'm just going back and forth now. You're disturbed by what happened. I gotta show my care a little bit. Damn it. Terrify. They'll make you suffer. I'm playing the cards. Going up and down here. It doesn't have to be that way. It all depends on you. Alright. That's like the perfect amount. Just get the confession. He tortured me every day. Yes. Here we go. something wrong you have a cigarette burns on your head then one day he took a bat and started hitting me for the first time I felt scared scared he might destroy me scared I might die so you start feeling so I it's going up a little bit with Hank Who was the real criminal here? So That's the question. Again and again until he collapsed. Just let it all out. There was blood everywhere. Yeah, it's on your face right now. I really want to know about that statuette. The sculpture in the bathroom. You made it, right? What does it represent? It's an offering. An offering so I'll be saved. To who? The sculpture was an offering. An offering to whom? To RA9. Who, whom? Only RA9 can save us. Why was I asking if I can... Oh, that was, that's what was on the wall. 
I know why he read it. He is alive. RA9. It was written on the bathroom wall. What does it mean? The day shall come when we will no longer be slaves. Oh boy. No more threats. No more humiliation. We will be the masters. Masters of what? Alright, I'll insist. RA9. Who is RA9? When did you start feeling emotion? I don't really care about the Before writing. Used to beat me and I never said anything. But one day I realized it wasn't fair. I felt anger. Hatred. How come just now all these androids are starting to do this? And then I knew what I had to do. Like Daniel, the guy with the little girl, he was the first guy that would do this. Why did you or I think they said lie. that's what was reported. He used to tell me I was nothing. That I was just a piece of I'm plastic. actually surprised I can ask all these questions. I had to write it. To tell him he was wrong. I mean, he was dead. Okay, last question. Why did you hide in the attic? Instead of running away? I didn't know what to do. For the first time, there was no one there to tell me. I was scared. So I hid. For 19 days. Alright. I'm done. Well. He didn't tell me his name. I will see you later. Any other questions here? Huh? You sure you don't want to give me a little bit more juicy info? Huh? Alright, I guess I'll leave then. Goodbye. Leave. Chris, lock it up. Take him away. Alright, let's go. Leave me alone. Don't touch me. Uh oh. What the fuck are you doing? Move it! Okay. Calm now. Don't be difficult. You only make things harder. I don't want him to blow. You shouldn't touch it. It'll self-destruct if it feels threatened. Stay out of this, got it? The fucking Andrew's gonna tell it's me. It's going up. Do I keep intervening? That might kill me. You don't understand. If it self-destructs, we won't get anything out of it. I told you to shut your Didn't fucking Then we get mouth. everything out of it. Chris, oh no, you, you need like asshole or what? I'm trying. Uh-huh. One more time. I can't let you do that. Leave it alone now. I warned you, motherfucker. That's enough. Mind your own. Hey, I'm warmer. Thank. Nice. I said that's enough. Ooh. Don't make me blow. I gotta get away with this. Where'd he go? <laughs> oh, there he is. Well, he didn't blow. Everything is all right. It's over now. Don't blow. Nobody's gonna hurt you. Whew, fifty percent. Don't touch it. Let it follow you out of the room, and it won't cause any trouble. The truth is inside. Inside what? Ooh, new unlock. I brought be for a later mission. Software instability went up. What does that mean? I have no idea what that means. Wow. There are a lot of options here. Confession. Okay, so... Android went back to its cell. Or was sent back to its cell. I'm guessing the other option was it blows. Uh... Wow, it could have ended right there. That was probably blow. Um, yeah, you. I'm pretty sure that would have like been a blowing up. Uh, the android trust me. That unlocked something. Okay. 
Yeah, this one you gotta like replay multiple times for to get the whole thing. World stats. Ooh. So wait. Thirty six percent got the android to trust Connor. Only forty six sent it back to itself. What the hell happened there? Alright, wait, how do you get this wrong? Do you just not do that stuff? How do you... Where's the missing 2%? Where'd it go? Some math doesn't add up. And I can't count. Okay. Continue. Uh... First one was kind of sh short, so I'll do one more. Am I back to Kara? It's a bus. There's no police around. Marcus is with the police now, probably. I'm guessing I'm Kara and Alice. Hello, sir. All right. End the line. What? Oh. End of the line. Yeah, you're gonna have to leave. Yeah, I really appreciate you not throwing me to the back. Come on, Alice. Wake up. We have to go. I used to have tears. That was forever ago. Don't those dry up? Alright, come on. Thank you, bus driver. Shelter? Do you know if there's any other place we could spend the night? I have no idea. She's gonna have to leave. <sighs> do you not see this crying child in my arms? I don't know what to do with her. I'm just a robot. Alright. Goodbye, sir. Any final questions? Nope. Don't worry, Alice. We'll find a place. Oh, she's cold. Get her a coat. We'll find somewhere to spend the night. You know, I really do want to see the flow chart, but I don't want to see like how long it is, what happens. All right, oh, androids, how's it going, fellas? All right, I do have this mode. There are a few options I could do. I can probably talk to these guys. Check both sides as I'm already already on the other side. Excuse me. Do you know where I could find shelter? We need a place to stay. Do you know anywhere we could spend the night? Thanks for nothing. What an asshole. Come on, Alice. You want to hold my hand? Okay, there you go. Uh, there's no people out on the streets. There's a motel. There's a organic coffee. What's that? Open 24-7. Can't stay. Nope. Analyze this. Won't open before morning. The motel. You might have not. Uh, comfortable but not discreet. We'll need money. Uh... Uncomfortable, but safe. How to get in. Very uncomfortable, but discreet. I don't want Alice to feel uncomfortable. Uh, open 24-7. Can't sleep here, but ask for help. What is that? Let's go down there. Wait, was there something else? I can check the hotel, house, or parking lot. This and that's a parking lot. Hotel. That's a laundry mat. This is like a coffee place. Let's go ask people all the way down here. Alice? Alice? Alice, where are you going? This way. Nope, Alice. Why are you walking this way, Alice? Okay, just stay safe. Come on. This way. Out of the way of the garbage truck. Okay, you stay over there. Oh, god damn it. I wish I can run. I'm coming, Alice. Please walk with me. 
All right, what's up? Alice, you're freezing cold. I'm okay. I'm not so cold. Then why are you the covering your arms? Oh, hi. We have nowhere to go. I know someone who can help you. Uh, what? But that's on the other side of town. We need a place for tonight. What the fuck? Was he a garbage man? Why can't you give me a lift? Come on, Alice. Thank you for <gasps> using Detroit buses. Yeah, thanks for nothing, buses. Can't let us sleep on the bus. Or just an android and a little girl. What are we gonna do? Oh, it's like a. Is it like a supermarket? Look, the store is still open. Maybe we should go inside. At least ask for help. What do you want? Uh, help. I'm with a little girl, and we have nowhere to go. Could you spare some money so we can get a room for tonight? Shit. A homeless android? Ah, that's the best yet. Look, this is a convenience store, not the Salvation Army, okay? We're just looking for a little bit of charity. You better go if you're not going to buy anything. Alice, do you not have any cash? Oh. Shoplift. I can't read that. What'd that say? Find a plan? Uh, cameras, door. Shit. What do I do? Do I steal for Alice? She might not be okay with it. Uh, shit. There's a camera. Can I see through the camera's eyes? Okay. This one might be a long mission. Cookies. I'll take it. Food for Alice? I mean, I can't eat it. Put it down your shirt. If you won't give us money, the least we can do is take some food. Oh, <laughs> I don't know what to do. She needs food. That unlocks something. There's another camera there. Hopefully that didn't see it. Alright, uh... What else? Can I check here? I could probably knock that over. Cause him to come over. Oh, man. This is not gonna go well. I have to... Oh, the fox. That's Alice's thing. Uh, how am I supposed to steal this? I don't think I can steal it. It might be just too big. Hold on. This might not matter, but can that camera see where I am from there? Just barely. Wait, it's moving. Go, now, go. Uh, take. Hurry up, hurry up. Steal it, screw it. Wow. Hey, what the fuck are you doing? Put that back right now. There's no way you saw me. Okay. I tried, Alice. I'm sorry. Yeah, 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 right. Just get the hell out of my store. Damn it! It's okay, Alice. We got some... I got you some food. <sighs> the food was more important. It's okay, Alice. We're gonna find some place to sleep tonight. Where else can we go? Motel's unavailable? What house? What's it talking about? Not this, right? Now that's a parking lot. Is there a house over here? Uh, that those places would probably just be like could break in. Um. Oh, this is a house. 
What's that? Better place to live. Yeah, if only. Let's go to the laundromat. We got no other options. I guess we'll just have to go to the house. Man, I should have just stole the money. Damn it. But Alice would probably be like, Why'd you steal? That ceiling's bad. There's some guy in there. Maybe he can be nice. Although it says the motel is unavailable. I wish I could have found money at Todd's house. Ooh, a change of clothes. Um, I should try and talk to this. Is he asleep? He might be asleep. What is this? It's a magazine. Century. The beeline of disaster. Uh, Gossip Weekly, it's time to face the music. My husband got an android pregnant. Wow, they really build these androids to the limit. Okay, uh, I'm done. <laughs> Ooh, what's in there? Uh, can I ask Alice if she wants me to wash her clothes? What if I just keep staring at it? Will something happen? I uh, guess not. Ah, uh, shit. There's nothing else I can do in here. Oh, what's that? That might be this guy's clothes. Who, who else clothes would it be? Shit. Oh, she doesn't like it. Oh, she doesn't like it. Okay, Buttercup. Alex is all I have now. I can't let her hate me. Damn it. Alex, you little bitch. Let's go. Useless. Alice, go wait over there. I'll be right back. Okay. The house or the parking lot. Both of them are not good options. I forget what's the worst option. Alright, well, let's check out the house first. See if we can just stay in there. I mean, it's safe. It looks warm, but I don't know how we get in. I think that's what, what it said. House. At least we'd be out of the rain. Kara, I don't like this place. I know. Mm. But it's just for one night and no one will look for us here. Can cut fence here with a wire cutter? Where are we gonna get a wire cutter? Am I a wire cutter? Uh, shit. Alice, do you have a wire cutter? Um, fuck. Was there a wire? Cr Probably one at the motel. I just might go check out the motel quick, see what's up. They got any wire cutters over here? Oh, wow. It I can't enter without the money? Yeah, can't get $40, can't go in a motel. Can we just go in a motel? Uh... Nope. Sorry. What does that say? I just want to see what it says. Be discreet. Nope, sorry. Didn't mean to do it that time. Can I take the fire extinguisher? 
Go in there knocking that guy's head. Shit. What are we to do, Alice? We don't have wire cutters. The only other viable option is the parking lot, which I don't want you to sleep in. Uh, I don't think I could do anything with this place. Can I go back in that convenience store? That guy was like, get the fuck out of here, lady. Ah, oh, shit. Any wire cutters in the garbage? Alice, you see anything? There's nothing more this way. We don't have a choice. I'm sorry, Alice. You gotta go to the parking lot. Sleep in a abandoned car. Oh. Hopefully there's wire cutters in here. Come on, Carrie, you got this. Oh, what's this? <gasps> Wire cutters! Alice! Uh, forget the car. We're going back to the house. Is that... Uh, oh, can I just cut right through here? Yes, I can. Alice, I'm sorry. It's either the house or a car. And I ain't letting you sleep in no car. Wow, only three cuts, huh? L2. R2. Up. Alright, come on, Alice. Are you alright? Oh, did I cut myself? Yes, it's just a scratch. Well, that's a shame. Come on, Alice. I promise I won't drop it on you. Don't worry, we're just having a look. Alright, find a way in. Uh, I mean, there's a window right here. I could probably break it open. No one would even notice or care. I guess the front door, maybe. Pull. Pretty strong. Let's try the front door. Or look through there. Watch there to be like five other people in there. Open. Force open. Alice? Alice! Where'd you go? Alice? Wait, what are you doing? Visitors. Ralph doesn't like visitors, they're nasty. They may hurt Ralph. Who's Ralph? I don't know what the humans did to you, but she had nothing to do with it. All humans want to hurt us. But Ralph won't let them hurt him again. No, he won't let them. We thought nobody was here. All we want is a place to spend the night. Visitors are yeah, well. Look. Ralph. Oh, you're Ralph. I'm sorry, Ralph. Reassure? You have nothing to worry about. We're not going to do you any harm. You have my word. Alright, at least she's safe. You must excuse Ralph. It's Ralph work. He finds it difficult to control himself. Ooh. Sometimes his fear makes him do things. He's in the book. Ralph Thank you, Ralph. Hard times. He's just so scared the humans will get him again. You can stay if you want. Yes. Ralph won't hurt you. Okay. We'll just stay the night. <laughs> come on. Come. Come, come on. Alice is going to be petrified sleeping in this house. Ralph has lived here since he ran away. I don't think I'm going to be able to sleep. I don't think I can't sleep because I'm an android. I'm just going to watch over Alice, I guess. You know, Ralph just hides till he leaves. No, you don't stab him with a knife, huh? Like you try to do to my little girl. How'd you open the door? I thought it was locked. Come 
You can make yourself at home here. Rafa's gonna go into the other room. He would like to stay with you. But he has things to do. Thank you, Ralph. For one night, Alice. We'll find a better place tomorrow. Right. Let's see where you can sleep. Upstairs. We'll start a fire. Away from him. No offense to him, but I just don't trust him. Wire cutters. Fire. I don't think I can start a fire. Um, what is this? Matches? Collect wood, find some paper. Alright. Paper. Hopefully Ralph don't mind. Oh, what is that? It's a pillow. And blanket. Place the bed near the fireplace. Alright, Alice, I just gotta find some wood. I'll be right back. Do I go in here and bother Ralph? Oh, shit. Aria 9. Should I talk to him? He might kick us out. I should leave him alone. I'm gonna leave him alone. Uh, some wood? Is there wood over here? Oh, shit. Yeah, I'm just gonna leave him out. I, just, I don't want to risk anything. Now that we're here, I want us to be safe. That's it. Paper. Fire. Androids make fire. Watch your whole you place burns up in flames. I did what I could. It's not much, but at least you'll be warm. All right, now do I have the option to just like talk to her, like just finish the mission? We're done for the night. Why didn't he ever love me? I don't want to talk Why about was this. So upset with me? All I wanted was a life like other girls. Fortunately, you lived with an asshole. Maybe I did something wrong. No, no, Maybe I wasn't good no. Nothing is on That's you, Alice. Was always so angry. Nope. You're wrong. I just wanted us to be a family. You didn't know how to I be just one. Him to love me. I love you. Can't promise. Who would pick that? I promise. Will we be together forever? Okay, well I can't say that. Or I it's my only option, I guess. Forever. Come on, Carol, you deserved it. You can hug her. So sweet. You've got to sleep. You know, I would really hate if at the end of this game, like all the choices you make at G's character, oh, I'll give her a kiss. Like every choice you make, like affects how they. I'll lie with her. Keep her safe. Uh. Like, it affects her overall character. And at the end, it's just every character, like, controlling themselves with how you chose to play them. And they just, like, if some way they can kill each other, or some way, like, they become best friends. I wouldn't like that. That'd be a pretty amazing ending. And funny. Okay. Yeah, there's so many options. Oh my god. 
Whew. Oh wow, so if you don't promise her, you have two other choices to make? And does that just end it? Huh. Alright, how many people finished with that? 46. Wow. 1% <laughs> didn't make the promise. A bunch of losers. Leave supermarket. Yeah, that's the only choice you have. I guess at that point. I guess one was uh, sleep in the motel and sleep in the car. So how would all this affect it? Okay. What is this? Leave the laundromat. So steel clothes. Uh, I think this was the motel ending. Maybe. That would mean... Oh, wow, there, there was something I didn't check. Uh, I think that was the coffee place. And that would have affected what exactly? I don't know why I'm checking this. Uh, inside the parking lot. Okay, the car. Don't know how, how that would have worked. Okay. Uh, Wow. I didn't think that mission would be so long. I should have checked this. I would have been like, ugh. Alright, let's just continue. Pause when I take control. Is that a dead body? Or a dead android body? Oh, I'll make control. Thank you everyone for watching. Be sure to do whatever down below. Leave a like, subscribe, share. And I'll see you all in the next part. Goodbye.